This Sunday we begin our summer sermon series called Summer in the Psalms. Uh, every week this summer we'll be looking at a, a familiar psalm. Uh, while there are 150 of them, and we, we won't be in them for that long, but we will be looking at some of the most beloved psalms as well as uh, some difficult psalms, psalms that um, speak to the human experience. That's why they're so beloved, because they speak to what it means to be human in the world, what it means to, to seek after God and to know what it means to follow God in the world. But it, they also evoke so much emotion. Uh, they've been called by many uh, the prayer book of the church. Uh, D Dietrich Bonhoeffer called them that, or the, the hymnal, the psalm book of the church. Both Martin Luther and John Calvin would often refer to the psalms in this way. They teach us what it means to pray. They teach us what it means to seek after God. They teach us what it means to be honest with God about our doubts and our failings, about uh, the difficulties of the world and wondering where God is in the midst of all of that. We hope that you'll join us this summer as we move through them. And as a part of that series, we're going to participate in, in two activities. The first is the reading of the Psalms. Um, for most of Christian history, there's been a tradition of reading a, a morning and an evening psalm before the first thing you do when you wake up and the last thing you do before you go to bed. Uh, we won't be doing that, but we will be reading through the psalms. Every single day, we've assigned a reading of one or two, sometimes three psalms for the day. And if you follow along with us, at the end of the summer, you will have read all 150 psalms. Each week, uh, the list of readings will be in the weekly, as well as in our bulletin um, each week, and we'll remind you about that. The second activity we're going to be doing is psalm writing. Uh, that's also a, a part of Christian tradition and history, is to, to write our own psalms, our own prayers, our own Songs And so in the narthex, just before you walk into the sanctuary, there'll be a board and there'll be some instructions there and, and some writing utensils. And we invite you either after worship, before worship, to, to stop by the church building sometime in the week and write your own psalm. Uh, at the end of the summer, we'll actually collect all of those together and write our own psalm, the Cottonwood Psalm. So we hope that you participate this summer, as we move together through the songbook, the prayer book of the church.